I've impressed in the uh, friendlies of late, winning away uh, to uh, the Cup of Nations qualifiers in Guinea and indeed Morocco. We've seen some exciting atmospheres in this first round of qualifying. None more so than here. Wonderful day. Gambia having missed out in their last match. Nations that took place earlier this year are certainly optimistic that they can get something out of this. It was by no means a disgrace that they didn't manage to get past Algeria in their final game in Bilda. Algerians were unbeaten in 33 matches there. They had to win that match, hope for a draw between Benin and Togo to reach their maiden Africa Cup of Nations finals. It would have been the first time in the history of Gambian football that the senior... Pretty impressive reaction to the Gambian national anthem. Said they were excited. Gambia, who have never qualified for the uh, World Cup. Entered the uh, competition at the, for the first time for the qualifying competition for the 1982 finals that took place in Spain. Didn't pick up any victories in that, ca that uh, campaign in their playoff. For the rest, as we look at the uh, team then. Manu Job, uh, one so the two skippers come to shake hands. Holly for Gambia and uh, the left winger Matthias for Angola with uh, Wilson and Fortuna. Fred and Henry Hen Ren out of a group that included Tunisia, Mauritania, and Mali. And Angola to uh, take centre stage. Only two matches today in Africa and qualifying for the World Cup. So they are claiming all of the limelight in June. And now Cissé trying to use his pace and Bill that goes down in the box and asks the question. Looked to go down rather easily. Have to say he was looking for that and went to the box. And it is a very long throw, but it lands onto an Angolan head. On the other side though, picked up by Jalo. Shallow trying to get to the byline. Well, he got the cross, but he didn't. Useful ball forward. Charles de Brau playing for Chito Lovumbo, who uh, is bursting through on the Angolan scene at the moment. You might see him later get his debut in the second half. He's causing all the whistle. Thought heard the whistle, but they have continued on, and here comes Geraldo. And again. And it goes in from Barrow, but uh, it pinged around the box before coming back out again. Sola tries to get it. It's an inviting ball down the line for Nuro Fontana, and he keeps it in as well. Geraldo, shots in the middle! Oh, that nearly turned into an assist for Again, it's a bit high, but it's right in! And Angola take the lead! And it's Wilson who was on the end of it. They had one moment before where they sent a deep ball to the back post, and Wilson was unable to get there. But that was the dress rehearsal, and Angola take the lead with a great header. That was a swirling ball into the six-yard box. And the game that all had everything except the goal has now got it. Gambia nil, Angola 1, and the goal...
all you have to say was coming. We just didn't know which end it would come at. Geraldo with the shot. It's a decent free kick and it's palmed away by Job. <laughs> going on and it's a break shot a goal that goes sliding beginning to be challenged now in terms of appearances for Angola from Job the goalkeeper and Mateus the captain and this is Gambia on the attack though shot goes a goal and it's just slid wide throwing into a cross not bad and a spectacular effort that nearly went in from Collie all of a sudden, Gambia can hair forward again. Here comes the centre forward, Cisse again, and it needs another save. Almost into the box. Solo can't get there. And a spectacular volley that needed to be tipped over the top from Colley. Well, it wasn't the most clean of connections, but it but it's come out onto this near side where Badamosi takes it. Uh, Angola side uh, play their foot club football in Italy. A yellow card given to Seaside. Fabio Brau just about keeping it going and uh, it's fed down the line. And Lovumbo getting his first touch in senior international football. Gets the rules this year about players not being allowed to mix up the wall. It's Torre with the shot straight into the wall. And then the follow up shot again will send this in. It's another good ball in, but there's nobody in a red shirt within five metres of that cross. Be pretty much the last kick of the game. The referee blows at the end of 90 fascinating minutes here in Bacow. It's Wilson's goal in the first half that separates the sides heading into the second leg. Mm -hmm.